What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to discuss the recent RX 6000 series branding easter egg that was discovered on Fortnite. In the new rumors flying around that AMD's pricing for the RX 6900 XT has been shaken up a bit by Nvidia's Ampere announcement earlier this week, prompting them to focus on competitive pricing in response, and the rumor about a possible release and or announcement date for Big Navi. As always, take these rumors with a grain of salt. It's not true until it is, so let's get into the details of what's being said. So about a week ago, I made a video discussing the RX 6900 XT's current rumors and leaks involving specs and pricing, with the latter pointing towards AMD looking at a $500 to $600 price tag to undercut and beat out Nvidia instead of the $1000 price point many were insisting on. Well after Nvidia dropped the news that you can get an RTX 2080 Ti level of performance with the new $500 RTX 3070, insiders are saying AMD had to seriously revamp their pricing model for the competition with their next gen flagship cards to bring their power and value to the table. Now it's being said that AMD will have two big Navi flagship GPUs at launch, one with 8GB of VRAM for $500 and another with 16GB of VRAM for $550. Rumors state that these cards will provide slightly faster performance than the RTX 3070 with equal to or double the video memory for the same price or for just a small bump more respectively, probably giving focus choice for users expecting to play on 4K resolutions or for those staying at 1440 or 1080p. If the rumors are true, this will allow AMD to offer more performance for around the same price point and will supposedly directly fire back at Nvidia's choice for 8GB and 10GB of VRAM on their 3070 and 3080 models. Once Nvidia revealed their three starting Ampere models in their next gen lineup, many folks immediately started claiming that there was no way AMD will be able to beat out Nvidia this round with RDNA 2, but recent leaks from a discovery found in Fortnite has had several AMD employees talking on Twitter. A streamer known as Miss Gina Darling discovered a secret message on one of Make a Make's custom creative islands where you enter numbers and receive a secret message. Upon entering 6000, you receive a message saying something big is coming to the AMD battle arena. She then tweeted her discovery and got a response from Chief Vice President Scott Herkelman praising her for finding the easter egg. Scott also commented on a tweet once again claiming that RDNA 2 was not capable of getting close to the Ampere levels of performance, hinting towards the likelihood that they have some prizes for us that may change a lot of people's minds. And with AMD being more vocal now that Ampere is fully out on the table, when can we exactly expect to hear about Big Navi? Insiders are saying we might see an announcement around or even on October 7th, which is more consistent than the other leaked information that has insiders saying that AMD might have the reveal this month with the launch date being on October 7th itself. Now with all this information being revealed, it does back up the rumors stating that there will be a Navi 22 and a Navi 23 level of cards being released alongside Navi 21 or the 6900 XT that I commonly refer to, and I will be doing more research to create videos on those cards cards and see what has been revealed thus far, and this is where I bring the questions to you guys. Does it make sense for AMD to announce Big Navi sooner rather than later, now that Nvidia has had their announcement and launched their competing cards just before the RTX 3070 releases to disrupt its sales, and maybe launch an RTX 3080 competing card later down the line? When do you guys think AMD needs to make these announcements? Or do you think the RX 6900 XT will be on par with the RTX 3080 in terms of performance and price and shock everyone? Share with me all your thoughts down in the comments section below and let's discuss this. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I will try to make more content about the news being spread around the woodwork as I discover it, but as always, it's been my pleasure. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and keep on gaming.